G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. Now in today's video, I'm going to actually show you how to build this model Earth. Now, it looks quite simple, and it actually is relatively simple, but look, if I remove this pin, then this segment comes out, and we see the, the inner structure of the Earth, including the inner core, the outer core, and the mantle. And then if I pop that back in, I've got a surprise for you. I turn on this UV light and shine it at the Earth, you can actually see the hidden tectonic plates. How awesome is that? Woohoo! <laughs> I'll be going through it in steps so that you'll be able to follow along and make one of these yourself. Okay, for the model Earth build, the equipment that you're going to need is a drill and a twist drill bit in order to drill a hole into the base of wood for the stand to go into. Um, you'll need some scissors to cut out the continents and some pins to actually pin the continents to the ball so that we can actually draw around them um, so that we can draw the map of the earth on the ball which allows us to paint it later. And so obviously we need some paint brushes and then a whole range of paints um, to actually paint the continents and the inside of the, the earth. And very importantly, if you want to draw the tectonic plates or show the tectonic plates, which will light up with the UV light, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> Glows blue. Uh, then you'll need a UV light as well. Uh, the, the knife is used for actually cutting our segment of the earth later on. So very readily available um, tools and equipment for the ball, the UV light and the, the paint. You can look in the description um, for where to get them from. So we're going to make our stand first, which is super, super simple. Uh, in the middle of your block, I'm going to drill. Drill down and push in my kebab stick which is the perfect size, and then push my earth, there's a little mark there, and I could even do it at a little bit of an angle, um, because the earth is on a tilt. So <laughs> let's do the tilt of the earth, like so, there we go. Okay, I then think it's a very good idea to actually paint the globe with white paint, which will give it a smoother finish and it will also help us to be able to paint it better later on. Nice thick layer all around, all around the ball. Okay, so the earth is mainly covered with water. I mean, look, look, our, look at the expanse of water there. And so I think rather than like um, drawing the continents and then doing the water around it, I think better to sort of do the water first and then the continents after. So we've got the North Pole and the South Pole, which uh, there's a lot of ice and white landmass. And so we'll keep that white at the top and the bottom. Now I want to mix a few different um, shades of blue uh, so that it looks sort of like oceany, with maybe like white caps and that sort of thing. So, how about I sort of rotate? <laughs> if I rotate the ball like this, lots of water, lots and lots and lots of water. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so the next stage is to paint the continents onto the globe and I think the best way will be to actually um, cut them out and then like stick them on, draw around them and then um, paint them on. Starting with Australia. There we go. That's an important continent. Only because I live on it. <laughs> South America. Let's go to Africa. I didn't realise Madagascar was so big. Okay, fantastic. To actually glue them on, draw around them, right? Draw around them. And actually, um, and then pull them off. 
Okay, it's okay if it's got a fold over and that sort of stuff, okay? That's okay. Because I'll be drawing around it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw around the continents. Might even take the ball off the, the stand. And Australia. Excellent. And we've got all these. We've got Papua New Guinea, South Africa, and now the Americas. Alright. And then we can peel them off. Okay? Peel those off. I'm taking a bit of um, ocean with them, but that's okay. So now we start painting. I've got the globe to inspire me here, and you know, I might go around the outsides a bit with a, a bit of a light brown. A bit of a light brown, and then I can build it up, build it up with um, greens. Farm in Africa. And some oceans and seas and that sort of stuff I can sort of add a bit later. So, let's have a look at South America. It's a big green patch. Big green patch here. So, let's go to the green patch. Okay, so now that I've painted the continents on, I'm going to use some invisible paint. Now this paint becomes visible when you shine a UV light at it. And so I'm gonna paint the outline of the tectonic plates where the, the plates interact on the globe and you'll be able to see them when you light it up with the torch. So that I can see what I'm doing, I'm actually going to put the UV light, the torch, in the stand. <laughs> and that will illuminate what I'm doing. Let's start with the Australian plate. Look at that. <laughs> Can you see that? Look at that invisible plate come up. Fantastic. Okay, I'm doing the, doing the African plate now. Good. Fantastic. Now we're going to use a knife to cut a segment out of the earth so that we can show what's on the inside of the earth. So I'm going to choose to cut the Pacific, <laughs> uh, mainly because there's not a lot of land there. There we go, look at that. <laughs> then I'm gonna cut these circles out. Because these will act as my template. So, now we're going to paint the um, different sections. I've got the circle which is about the right size, and I will pop it there right in the middle okay so I'll pop it in the middle like that and then I'll draw around it very very neat you see there in the middle like that and like that then let's do the outer core There you go, and now to paint them. So, yellow on the inside. Excellent. Now let's do a bit of a fluoro outer core. The mantle. 
Okay. <laughs> ta da! And then, ta da! We've got the finished model Earth. Look at that, we can see the continents and the ocean. And more excitingly, if I pull this little pin out, then I can actually remove this segment. And we can see the inner structure of the Earth with the inner core, the outer core, and the mantle. Let's pop that back in and then just push that pin to hold it in place. And then, most excitedly, if I shine this UV torch onto it, we can actually see the outlines of the tectonic plates. Look at that. And this will help us understand plate tectonics, earthquakes, and volcanoes much better. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed that build and I hope you go and build it yourselves. Thanks for joining me today.